afternoon. Welcome to another show of Sanford Says. This is Lisa Holder, Communications Officer with the City of Sanford. I have with me today a very, very special guest, <laughs> Alan Harris, who is the Emergency Manager for Seminole County. Yes, thank you very much for having me. Wonderful for you to be here today, Alan. And it is no coincidence that Alan is here weeks before June 1st, which is hurricane, hurricane season, season yes. in, this, in, in the state of Florida. Um, what we're going to talk about today is uh, to focus on Alert Seminole and also this is in support of the s most recent Sanford Utility Insert Campaign for our residents that have received or will receive this month information about how to stay connected with the City of Sanford and uh, most importantly we want to talk about Alert Seminole and how people can sign up for that. So, Sounds Alan, good. welcome. Well, thank so you. So can you tell us really what Alert Seminole is? Sure. Alert Seminole is an electronic text notification system. It allows us in the municipalities in all seven cities, as well as Seminole County, participate in the Alert Seminole program. Uh, Alert Seminole is a, a means to notify the community for all types of hazards. Years ago, we used to call this system Reverse 911. Uh, reverse 911 has gone away. That, that term uh, is now a, uh, a term of a specific company, just like Kleenex. Uh, okay. we, uh, and that's a specific, and you, sometimes people say instead of hand me the facial tissue, they say hand me the Kleenex. Same thing for Reverse 911. It's actually a specific company. Okay. Alert Seminole is not Reverse 911, but it does the same types of services as uh, what we used to call Reverse 911. Okay, and what are some of those services? Sure, so we provide notifications for all different types of emergencies. The first thing that we provide is for severe weather events. So it's almost like having a tornado siren on your hip. Uh, you would get notified, uh, if you have it on, uh, attached to your cell phone, uh, you would get notified of, uh, of tornadoes, severe uh, weather in the area, things like that. We notify for shelter in place and lockdowns. and. Uh, no one in their neighborhoods wants someone uh, that uh, is undesirable to come into the neighborhood. Unfortunately, there are bad people out there, and the only way for law enforcement to notify uh, individuals in a neighborhood very quickly is through this system. Okay. So they would notify uh, the, the system, the, the individuals through this system, and they would, of course, uh, provide some information on what to do. Go inside your house, bring the children, kids, uh, and, the, and the pets inside, close the doors, lock them, things okay. like that. So uh, if an individual, you know, say, robbed the store down the, the road and then ran into a neighborhood, we can protect that neighborhood wherever that may be. Okay. You well, also, the, I'm sorry, what is the website as we're talking now? Sure, sure. Okay, uh, so our preparedness website is prepareseminal.org. Okay. And you can get all types of disaster information at prepareseminal.org. Uh, so, uh, and there's a, a two links there. There's one for Alert Seminole, which we're going to talk about a lot today. Okay. And then uh, at the very end, I'd like to talk about special needs and people with medically enhanced uh, services. Okay. And uh, it, uh, there's also a link there for those individuals. So okay. I'll just, uh, that's. Uh, we'll get back to that. Yeah, so everybody can kind of hang on to their yeah. chair. <laughs> that was a little tease for the later yes. in the program. Sure. Uh, but back to the alerts. So uh, we also notify for larger scale type boil water notices. The smaller scale boil water notices, most of the time, the water utility, like the water utility here in Sanford or, or our water utility, will normally do door hangers. They'll do signs on the roads, things like that. Uh, but uh, for larger uh, boil water notices, we would no use this as a system. Right. Uh, so, um, and then there are other types of alerts that we can put out. So you can select if you want. And we found this very, very popular. I was shocked at how many people signed up for this. And that is the traffic. People okay. love to know about traffic. So we actually push uh, from I-4 Ultimate, from SunRail, from Florida Department of Transportation. We take all that information and then we push out alerts for large, uh, major road closures. Okay. So when I-4 is shut down and it's backed up for miles and miles, we notify the community of that uh, so that anyone that is going to be traveling along I-4, maybe they would seek an alternate route. Okay, that's wonderful. And that's everybody's on their cell phone these days. So Absolutely. that's um, instant communication. I've signed up personally myself. And this is a real benefit for Seminole County residents, obviously, and then our city residents as well. So Absolutely. we are... 
We are so encouraging people heading into hurricane season and just for everyday use and, and, and for these types of alerts, please go to prepareseminal.org and you'll receive these, like I said, in your utility bill inserts. You can read about it more in length there. But, um, Alan, so some of the other types of services uh, that you, you offer? with this public information alert system? So there's a, a couple different ways that we can alert you. And, and the individual gets to select the way that they want to be alerted. So that they, they can be alerted. Now, we receive the white page telephone numbers. So we receive, believe it or not, they still People print the- People still have They still print lines, the phone books, right? right. <laughs> I got one in front of my house. I was like, oh, wow, they, they actually still print this thing, this white uh, phone book. So right. I, I got the white page listed. So we get all the white page listed- numbers out of the phone book and those are dumped into the system so we get those automatically but a lot of people have gone away from those they've got unlisted telephone numbers they have um, uh, cellular phones and they've gone away from the landline Mm -hmm. number uh, or they've gone to the voice over internet phone so if you have voice over internet or you're unlisted or you only have cellular phone we don't have that information. So we would need the individual to go and register on alertseminal.org. They need to put their address so it can geolocate okay. where that house is. Right. So if we do notify that neighborhood of a boil water notice, uh, a shelter in place order, evacuations, we will notify okay. uh, curfews, things like that uh, during a hurricane or something like that. Okay. Uh, we would we would notify geospatially. So we would okay. highlight it on a map. And because you have indicated that that's where your house is, you would get notified. Okay. And see, there is that communication, too, between the city and, and Seminole County Emergency Management. So you know, you're you aware of that communication, that need, and we work together, partner together to get this important information out in a timely manner Exactly to, to, our, to our residents and so our citizens. It's also important to note that you get to select whether you want to receive this by text message whether you want a voice call to your cell phone, do you want both? Do you want that and another call to okay. your spouse? Do you want that and to the children because maybe they're at home before you get home after work? Okay. So maybe you want it to go to their cell phone and you want a call come in to, to your landline phone that's at your house. So you get to select what you want. Maybe you uh, – and an email. If it, okay. it, I, I want to get it on an email. I want to get a text message, but I don't want you to call me okay. uh, with a voice message. So don't call me with a voice – you get to right. select that. And so do you know what the call would come in as, by the way, to your phone so people would answer it? Because sometimes you don't recognize a number. And Yes. So it's going to – Uh, It would be the telephone number that uh, the provider is going to um, is is going to to notify you. So for us uh, at at the county level, that's going to be four zero seven six six five zero 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 zero. That's our switchboard. Okay. For the city of Sanford, it would be their uh, water switchboard. So. The I think it's the six eight eight five one one yeah five thousand. So that's yes. going to be the number that would display. Okay. So um, I got you right. So if you called back that number, uh, you would also get a recording. So okay. Um, we uh, so there's a couple different ways that yeah. we can push it out, but that's normally what we push okay. it back because that way when they call back, they actually get someone that's in the sure in, right if sure. they had further questions about whatever the message was. Okay, but the the basic idea that we want to share with our residents and our citizens is stay informed and sign up for alert seminal it's the the best way to stay communi- in communication as well as social media too for both the county and for uh the city of sanford so yeah um, um obviously with a with an alerting software pl- platform we're not going to be able to provide the type of messaging uh to the extent of your social media so right. if you receive an alert we encourage them, of course, to go to the Sanford uh, social media sure. site um, and and look for whatever that message is because there's going to be a lot more information yes. on that that uh, Facebook or Twitter or what, where, however you follow Sanford. Sure. Uh, there's going to be a lot more information on that yes. than there would be in the right. alert message. Yes. Okay. Well, great. Um, and then – Anything else that we want to add about Alert Seminole? Um, you talked about what type of uh, devices it can notify um, and then where to sign up. Of course, it's free, right? right. It's, there's no charge for, for folks to sign up for that. Um, now, you must be a Seminole County resident, so that's important, too. So say you work in Sanford and you're listening to our podcast today, but you live in Volusia County. 
So uh, if you uh, attempted to register for Alert Seminole, you would not be able to do it if you used your address in Volusia County. So as a business owner, say you own a business in the downtown area of Sanford, and I want notifications of boil water notices for my business, then you would put the address of your business. So say you work and play here in Seminole County, then you can put the address of your home and the address of your business, and you would receive notifications on both. Wonderful. Right. Okay, great. And so, again, we we just underscore the importance of um, staying in touch with your county, staying in touch with your city when it comes to boil water notices, government school closures, hurricanes, lockdowns, major roadway closures, even missing persons, right, Alan? We do. In some cases, we'll put out missing persons, uh, especially children and then elderly, of course, we yeah. would, we would so, put that out to a neighborhood or wherever that person right. so happens it's to be lost. Many benefits, many Absolutely. benefits. And um, City of Sanford encourages you to please stay connected and stay informed. Um, you wanted to talk about separate logins for special needs sure. clients? Sure. So if you have a, uh, a friend or a family member that is special needs, so that's a person that is on oxygen, requires electricity to run a medical device or something like that, and they need a special assistance during disasters, then they can register for the system as well. There's a separate logon. So when you go to the Prepare Seminole website, there's a logon that says special needs, medically enhanced shelters. So they can click on that. And uh, th- the same type of uh, registration occurs. The, the difference is that these individuals get placed into a separate group. These individuals are called before a hurricane to see what they're going to be doing. Are you going to a shelter? No. Do you need help with transportation, et cetera? So I would love okay. to do that with all 500,000 residents of Seminole County. That is impossible for us to do. So we do it for our special needs clients, the most vulnerable populations, those, again, with medical needs and may need to go to a shelter because the power's out. Right. They're out of their oxygen, et cetera. Right. Okay. We provide transportation to them, so they would register for the system the same. Uh, when we geolocate uh, whatever the issue is, they would still receive the notification because they're attached to Alert Seminole. Okay. They're just also in a separate group called Special Needs. So okay. if you know someone, again, uh, you're a family member, a loved one, someone that goes to your church, and you, you know that they're on a medical device or they require oxygen, go ahead and register for them, the, the system. It, it, there's a lot of benefits to it. We, we not only call them before, if they say, nah, you know what, I'm not going to the shelter uh, after uh, we will give them a phone call. Again, okay. we'd love to call everybody. That's not going to happen. Right. So we'll call them after to make sure that they're okay. Yeah. If we can't reach them, we send a Sanford police officer for the residents here of, Sim- uh, of Sanford. Uh, we'll send a Sanford police officer, Sanford firefighter out. They'll knock on the door. Hey, are you okay? Is everything okay? Now, again, we'd love to do that for all the residents of Sanford, but, of course, the, the police department, fire department, right. is not large enough to call, right. check on every single person. <laughs> Understood. But, uh, but that, that's an extra benefit of registering for that side of the system. Okay. So, um, it, again, just, just for medically enhanced people, if you aren't uh, don't have a medical need, uh, there's no medical needs in your, your family, go ahead and register for Alert Seminole still through the normal notification system. Okay. And so if there are folks out there that maybe not um, very fluent with the computer and they want to sign up, if they needed help with logging in, could they call? Sure. And get some assistance sure. um, See, with your staff too. Yeah, 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 no problem at all. Yeah, call our local your local emergency management office. The in uh, in Seminole County, that's four zero seven six six five five one zero two. I'll give that again: four zero seven six six five fifty one zero two. Or you can go by any library. So if you're in the downtown area here at Sanford, just go by the library, and the librarians can assist you in getting on and registering for the system. Very nice. All right. Well, that's wonderful. Great information. Is there anything else, Ellen, that you wanted to add? Now, I know the the website is prepareseminal.org, but the program is called Alert Alert Seminal. Seminal. Okay. All right. It's prepareseminal.org. Anything else, Ellen, yeah, that you'd like to share? Definitely uh, go to the Prepare Seminole website anyways. Uh, when you register, it just also you'll be able to, to look through the site. The site has all kinds of information on preparedness. Uh, anything that's happening in Seminole County, it's going to notify or it's going to have information about that. Uh, of course, the Hurricane Expo, which is coming up, uh, the the other types of events that we have 
Uh, and then whenever there is an emergency, there'll be all types of information about what's going on throughout the county on that web page. So that's okay. our disaster page. Right. So you can go to that site and find out our schools closed. When is the courts going to be reopened? Uh, all of those types of things, all those types of services, what major roads are closed. Um, the water utilities will put will list them all out there. What's going on with the water utilities? Okay. Uh, when is power looking to be restored? And, and we've been working a lot with Duke and FPL to get those numbers a little better. We just all met right. with them over the last month, so we're real excited about some of the new technology that they have and some of the uh, enhancements that they may be able to give us some better. Uh, uh, estimated time of restoration, yeah. so ETRs is what they call it, estimation, uh, estimated time of restoration. So okay. prepareseminal.org is not only just for the alert system, it's also just got some great information. Wonderful. That's awesome. Okay, and so there you have it, Ellen Harris with Seminole County, our Emergency Management Director. We're so glad that you've been on the show. Well, thanks for um, having me. You're welcome. Stanford residents, if you're listening, and friends, don't forget to sign up and also stay connected with our social media. You will be receiving the inserts in the um, your utility bills this month. If you are living in an apartment complex and you would like some of these brochures, when you come on down to City Hall, we have extras because we know that not everybody in the apartment gets the actual notifications. But you also can follow us on our website, SanfordFL.gov, and um, please Stay in touch with the City of Sanford and uh, alert Seminole, prepareseminole.org. This is Lisa Holder, Communications Officer for the City of Sanford. We'll see you next time. And remember, you can catch this podcast on our website, sanfordfl.gov, as well as SoundCloud, Spotify, and iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks so much, and have a great day.